Hey there, it's Alex and I've been seeing this trend where people paint characters on um, picture frames like the glass part of the picture frame and I wanted to try it out because it seems pretty cool and difficult at the same time so it's kind of a challenge for me and I was just actually painting as you can see I am covered in paint mm -hmm. let's get started And hello there, so let's start outlining the piece. I am using Posca paint markers because that's what I have currently and it surprisingly did stick to the glass so I am pretty happy. You can probably use CD permanent marker or a normal permanent marker but I don't have that so I just use a Posca paint marker. I would say that outlining the piece was the easiest Part because it was pretty simple you just trace out the photo you have in and honestly I did make a lot of mistakes especially in the painting part but this is the first time I did paint on glass so after uh, my second painting I did a lot better so I'll show you guys what I did wrong and uh, what I did right I guess if that makes sense Anyway, this is Canary, a character from Hunter x Hunter, and she is a total badass, and I love her so much. She is a butler um, in Kilawas house. House? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I absolutely wanted to draw her first, because she is amazing. I was struggling a lot as i said especially because this is a new medium to draw on and i was very um hesitant to try this because i don't want to ruin a bunch of frames and waste my money but surprisingly it actually turned out well and i'm quite proud tooting my own horn here for some reason the process was quite calming and i enjoyed it a lot that's why i made four of these and it just somehow made me feel at ease, if that makes sense. And hello, so it's night time right now and it's currently 10, I think. Um, yes. So I'm starting the outlining for Levi. I'm giving this out to my brother because he's the one who requested for me to do Levi. Uh, because he just started getting into um, Attack on Titan. Um, also, I'm sorry if the camera is quite shaky. It's because I was drawing with my right hand and holding the camera with my left. And that's why it was really shaky. And I wanted the camera to be really close and up there so you could see me outlining the piece. Also, I just was thinking during this how um, trying to draw on glass uh, kind of made me realize that it's fine to try new things and I made a lot of mistakes here and it's kind of what I lacked before is I don't want to try anything because I don't want to make mistakes and through this it kind of I let myself make mistakes because it's fine after a while i can just wipe out the outline if i did make a mistake so um i guess i realized that making mistakes is not really a bad thing and no one's going to <laughs> torture you because of it 
and by letting myself ma- make mistakes it did not in any way hinder my creative process but actually boost it So if you were gonna make uh, one of these, remember um, the brush stroke is very important because it is glass and the paint is going to have a hard time sticking to the surface. So instead of like uh, the usual brush stroke where you go up and down and uh, go really harsh, make sure you um, just dab 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 like what I'm doing right now, like lightly dabbing so the bottom layer does not um, wipe off because that's what happened to the first uh, painting I did and also remember to do the highlights and shadows first because um, That's what's going to show up first and that's basically the top layer and then you do the base layer last So this frame had the price sticker on the glass itself, so it, it was hard to remove the sticker residue. So what I did is use oil to remove it and wipe it down. You can use baby oil, but what I had was hair oil. So anyway, I'm doing Saitama right now, and it's the last drawing that I am doing. And I'm only going to do a outline because I did run out of paint and I wanted to do one more. Um, so what I did is just took out a 
manga panel from the internet and use that to trace over it. And the thing I did wrong was I forgot to flip the image, so the letter um, was not flipped. So thankfully, I did realize that midway. And so what I did is I just rewrote the text, um, but flipped, if that makes sense. So yes, um, enjoy watching me outline this piece because I enjoyed it and I hope you do too. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. They look so pretty. I'm so proud of them. I don't know where to put these yet. I might hang them on a wall. Like over here. I have some space on my wall. Why am I so close? Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited to redecorate my room with these one of them i am giving it out to my brother uh, levi because he really likes levi and he's the one who requested it so